cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I love goats. This is prairie. And the old uh, mechanics light. It's pretty dark in there. Yeah, here we are. Whoa. Call us tapeheads, a nostalgic breed of video hoarders. I'm on a quest to find some of the biggest physical media collections in the world. To find those long lost films that have only survived on the VHS format. So join me and my crew as we take a look at some of the most insane collections. Dust off those VCRs, it's playback time. Oh my god! <laughs> I love goats! This is Prairie. She looks after the videos here. Who are these cameras? Like a big dog she is. She's been mm. with us for years. So. Hi. <laughs> the Guardian's leading. Where are you going to Alright, here we are. Uh, I'll go in first for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the old uh, mechanics light. It's pretty dark in there. Oh wow. Yeah, here we are. Whoa. Uh, yeah. everything. Oh goodness. You really crammed them in here, yeah, haven't you? Pretty, yeah, we all got much space to move around. But wow. They're all here. <laughs> so this is, uh, you can come down here, it goes around the corner. Oh, we got wipes anyway. Oh wow. Around the corner here, more down here. Yeah. And um, yeah, and if you backtrack again, go around the other, go around way. The other way. There's more. There's more. One day I walked in to rent a, a favourite and the video store was shutting up and I was like, this this is all going, you know, and I realised I've got to grab what I can grab while, while it's still there and um, that was the start of it really. They all just went pretty fast one after the other and before you know it, even the DVD stores were closed. I haven't been doing it for that long really, I mean 2004, that's when I first started putting it together. Pretty much a budget collection, it's just a matter of getting up early and hunting in all the markets and op shops and skips, whatever, to try to find good stuff. I mean that's really all it is, persistence. And how often do you do that? How often do you search for these in the wild? Because uh, I mean, you've, you've amassed a lot here. I'm pretty much retired now, I mean I don't go out like I used to, a few op shops, but yeah. I used to, you know, markets every weekend. Um, during the weekdays, I'd be in an op shops every every day, pretty much. Don't shake your baby video. What? It's good advice. <laughs> what? No way. Yep, that's always good advice. Don't shake your baby. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Yep, yep. Wow. <laughs> video catnip. Yep. So, Entertainment for cats. cats. Yep, videos for cats. Wow, what is it? Is it cartoons or something? It's uh, fish and birds for like an hour and a half. So, yeah, they just... Sit there, watch their fish, watch the birds, and enjoy their videos. So it's yes. uh, yeah. Have you tried it? Yeah, it doesn't really work. <laughs> you got the Curzon titles. Yeah, there. yeah, I got all those, all the um, Bunau ones. Oh well, wow! One, but these ones here, that's what I really want. Phantom of Liberty. Ah, oh, nice. And all those. But, um, they're the ones I really wanted. Yeah. Obscure object of desire. That's yeah. A cracker. You don't, you don't honestly see the Curzon or the Banal titles for yeah. much. What is the genre that, that really gets you? Well, originally it was sci-fi and horror, really. That was what I loved. But you see something outside of it, and then suddenly, you know, you got a few westerns, and then you want more westerns, and then on it goes. The Stranger the Better is probably my genre. I'm trying to dig it out of piles of old tapes. It's, you know, you find that gem and you take it home and you go into another world. It's great. Blame it on Lombardo. Yeah, it's got Andy Warhol in it apparently. I never watched it, but yeah. it's not an internet movie database or anything. I can't find anything about it. Andy oh yeah, Warhol. Right. yeah, there he is on the bottom. Yeah, he's in the, the back of the sleeve. He's on the back of the sleeve, I don't Never heard of it. That's what I do it for. I love these obscure movies that, you know, you can't find anything about. You dig them up on tape. And this is sort of the kung fu section here with ninja stuff and Jackie Chan stuff all, all mixed together. There's a whole bunch of ninja stuff here. This kind of stuff. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at that. They're always great. You can never get too many ninja movies. Oh, there's a tricky one to find. Fists of Death. Yep. 
So why videotapes? Why not DVDs, Blu-rays? Mm. Why why have you not sort of gone in that direction? I reckon it goes back to when I was a kid. A lot of collectors got started with the uh, Beyond Imagination magazine. <laughs> I have a copy of that. That's a great, yeah, it's great. The oh, A to wow. Z collector's guide. And this yeah. is what, what it all, where it all starts, wow. you know. Yeah, yeah. You've got all these tapes. So you see Megaforce here and you've got uh, Roadshow down there. So you've got the labels and this is where you get the bug when you're little and years later. Were you reading that book when it was yeah, yeah. first was, available? Yeah, no, that was new on the shelf when I got it. So wow. It's a very, very cool book to have. Yeah, it's full of useful information, movie posters and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. That's before the internet, that's the perfect uh, database of stuff, really. Totally to is, get you into it. And it really is. Yeah. That's where it started, so, you know, there wasn't anything like that around. It's like the encyclopedia and, uh, for, for obscure exactly. stuff. Oh my God, there's more tapes around here. Yeah, might as well venture into the center. <laughs> Squeeze through. <laughs> You've done this with other people before, so <laughs> it's tricky enough in one. There we go. Is that better? It's tight, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. And this hey. is all 4D. Hey. <laughs> uh, these shelf is 5 deep up there, so that's a 5 deep shelf, that one. 5 deep? Yep. Wow. So there's plenty up there. Uh, what else have we got? A couple of coffin boxes back there, hiding behind there. When you say a couple of coffin, coffin boxes, boxes they yeah. frighten no, us. Oh, you got two yeah. of them. Always good to have a back. Wow, that one looks in terrific, Nick. Yeah. What's that giant Star Trek thing you got there? Oh, yeah, I got a couple of those. This one as well. I'm Ooh. sure there's a whole series of those somewhere. But, uh, Trigantors. Yeah, I love the big ones. And then you also got a lot of Westerns came out in the big format as well. These Randolph Scott ones. How often do you take a tape off the shelf and sit down and watch one? I might not come out here for a week or two right. and then I might start renting basically because yep. it feels like you're renting you know totally. you go go to a video store and rent a couple and you end up with a stack and you take them inside and watch them you might do that for a while and then back to Netflix for a while and then back out here I love these showcase tapes oh that's all the invincible trailer that's on every one of these showcase videos <laughs> yeah yeah rad just oh, you've got the that. Bing, sick! Oh, yeah, the Bing, that's, a, that's an excellent one there. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that's great, that From thing. the same director of Blood Diner. Back here, I'll pull that out of the way and there's some more, more showcase. showcase. Oh, no way! Yeah. Cool. This goes back to KNC, back there. Wow, my goodness. That's crazy. There's, there's not, more, there's thorny of mice back there. Is there? How many tapes do you think you've got in here? Um, I don't know, I mean, one of these is probably about a thousand, one of these cupboards. And you've got so what, four one, two, here, three, four. maybe a, another, another one or two out thousand. there, 6,000 maybe, Far something like that. I, <laughs> I mean, you're out in the shed, are you able to keep the tapes in good condition? Um, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes yeah. the moisture gets to them out here in these, these sort of situations. It's not the mould that's the problem, it's just the moisture getting in here. Really the most of the problem is the moisture in the air getting to the, the sleeves and, and buckling the sleeves and that sort of stuff. But. Yeah. Uh, I think I've plugged most holes now and um, yeah. put some carpet in here and it sort of absorbs a lot of the moisture. Uh, here's a stack of my tags. Oh, what a so, tag video. Yeah. I don't think I've seen any of these. Yeah, wow, tricky. how cool are they? Yeah, there's not that many around. Wow. I'm not even sure how many titles there are on tag, but uh, I've seen a few different ones I don't have that I'm on the lookout for. I like the colours. A lot of these are the English sort of 70s oh, yeah. sort of stuff. Oh, how cool is that, Jared? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Beast of yeah. the I'm not, I don't recall the film, but I remember the video mm. from the video store days. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, it's a cracker. It's crazy good. That's amazing. Dare you go into the cellar and uncover its gruesome secret? How do you find it in terms of still tracking down tapes in the wild? Um tricky i mean there's really not much out there i mean you've got to go to your places you know you learn your places and talk to the people and try to convince the op shops to stock it on the shelf but other than that i'm really not finding a lot around like not like i used to i mean i used to live down towards the city and there's a lot more people and a lot more stuff up here in the small country towns a bit of trickier to find stuff but is, um yeah. you do find a gem now and again you know uh, here we are it's a Meow. Ghostbusters preview tape. Whoa. 
No way. I've never on. seen one of those before. And it's a Christmas one as well. No way. Yeah. Huh. What's the tape look like? Uh, Oh, it's a tape. Awesome. Yeah, tape. Cool. Coming to save the world this Christmas. You know what I mean, I've never seen another one, so I don't think there'll be too many out there. That's amazing. Do you find you buy more tapes than you do watch? Oh yeah, for sure. I've got to be careful not to buy everything. I even collect uh, head cleaning tapes back there on the shelf. We've got about 10 or 12 different brands of head cleaning tapes. I could have filled this shed five times over easily if I wasn't picky enough. It is a hoarding thing, really. <laughs> yeah. Now I've crossed the line a little bit. Yeah. To collect that, to hoarder. I've got stuff here I don't really want, but uh, it's not going anywhere. When you got a box full of different uh, old uh, Peter movie camera in here. This sort of stuff, uh, lights and mm. Super 8 cameras and yeah, cool. video cameras all over the place. These are all beaters down here. I buy them, play them until they wear out, put them on the pile, buy another one. Yeah, you don't service them or anything? Uh, it's just not really worth it. This one is uh, one of the first on-screen display machines. Got the big Sanyos in here. This is the, they're one of my favorite beater machines. Uh, I've got four, three, three of these ones. And that's a German, German coin. There's all kinds of VHS up there as well. Um, VCRs, <laughs> yeah, etc. Yeah, VHS, most of those. Yeah. There's a beater up there as well. And for years I was just doing this in isolation. Just me, not knowing anyone else was really doing it, really. A lot of people think you're crazy when you're doing this when I was first starting out. You know, there's DVDs everywhere now. You don't need this old stuff. Well, a lot of these films too. There's a yeah. lot of films here that have never made it to DVD, yeah, haven't yeah. made it to streaming. So outside of what you've got here, there's some of these titles just yeah, you're never going to see the light of day again, possibly. Yeah. Do you ever think that you'll sell this massive collection? Oh, no. no, I just can't. Unless something serious comes up, I can't see myself getting rid of them. I mean, I can only see it getting bigger. Yeah, I need a bigger space and then I still won't be happy because then I just need more tapes to fill up the bigger space, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it is being part of that videotape revolution where you could, for the first time, record, pause, and control your own movies, you know? You didn't have to wait for the cinema. And being a kid and watching all that happen, you know, you just love it. And there's always something new to see. A new genre out there. There's always some hidden gem that's slipped you by over the years. It's great. It's not just a collection, it's also an education, really, you know? You learn so much about film and, and history at the same time. Coming up next on Video Hoarders. I love punchy, impactful, sort of pop, sort of thrusts of images. I just love being like showered in that shit, you know? Like I love my my art pieces to like just reach out and just punch and make it pretty obvious that they're there. Yeah, there's some subtle tapes as well around and images, but me, just give me that fucking barrage, you know? Like I don't want fucking neat and organized, I want fucking chaos.